Hello, in this video I'll show you how you can create a SAP Cloud Integration Suite uh, and start using it. So the first thing is you go to uh, HANA Trial and log in, create an account, verify using your phone number and then you just say go to Trial Home, Tenant and select the region nearest you. And then it starts creating this, and this will take a little while, so let me just pause in the meantime. There's obviously some different tutorials. There's a integration suite here that takes one and a half hour. You can check out, see what what is about. So now we have two options uh, for creating this. So here in the boosters, there are some different boosters that enables you to set up your different uh, different systems a little easier. So if you check out integration suite <coughs> you then have the option here to select trial select the oh you need to subscribe to the application first that you can do it just clicking here then here we need to select the cloud integration suite Cloud integration suite here. I create a trial account for it, and now it has been submitted. And we can then view our service request here, and it is being processed. And this is inside of the trial account. So let's. I think we need to cancel here, and we need to go back to it we can start it and now hopefully we get allowed to do this and it sees there's a license on it you can then select which of these services you want uh, for now I'll just select the first two but obviously you can select more and then say finished okay. so this fails also uh, and then we can do it in the old-fashioned way so what we'll do is we will go to our trial home here go to our trial application and in here we can then go to roles we need on our user we need to assign a role here and we need the integration a provisioner and it seems like it has added the auto in a uh, provisioner maybe that will work um, then we go to service marketplace we found the cloud integration here uh, integration suite we select go to application and we have one subscription now and here we can then add capabilities here we'll select the two, first two also Enable the queue if you have business up and say activate and then this will take a little while um, earlier last time I was trying this like a year ago something like that it sometimes failed and that meant you needed to delete the trial instance and start over again but uh, when I just tried it, it seemed to be working so let's uh, wait a little and see how it's working so now at least the, the CPI part is done and the uh, API portal have been done. Now we can either go back to the uh, booster package and set it up there. And then we should be able to add users to it. But I guess in general the best approach is if you want to create a new user, or whatever your user have, you can create a new user. And then in this user, you can then assign the different roles that is needed. In this, we can say API management, auth group. And for the PI one, you have administrator, business read only, and integration developer. Assign these roles, and obviously, we will also do it to the guy that we are now logged in as. And that should be it. So let's see if it's, it's still activating the queue, that's okay. 
Um, if we also, so now one of the things we can actually do with the booster package is to create the service keys. Um, but we can also do that manually. It's probably more telling to create them manually. And the way we do that is we go to integration instances. We select create. Ah, so now we can, ah, so we can see here it, they failed because they were not created correctly or the services were not available once we created it. But it's pretty easy to create, so we select a service and this is their integration runtime. Here we have two different plans. Message flow, that is if you want to send messages to it. And we'll select that one. Grant type, we will also select password. That should be good. Create. And you can then do the same thing with the uh, API if you want to do APIs uh, to, to the system. We then have a few seconds. We can say create service key. Here we can call it here. And what this will give us is here we can view the key, we can view this, and then we can use this whenever we are sending messages to the CPI system. And if we're using FIGAF, this would actually be the ones you would be using for creating the test flow of your processing. So that was all you needed actually to create a CPI suite. If you want to go to it, you can check here the applications you have. You can then open the different uh, systems that exist on this one. And here you can see all the data that exists and start developing from scratch. If you want to learn more about how to develop in SAP CPI, I really recommend going to cpicourse.com. There is some free uh, modules that you can try to learn about creating iFlows, developing in it, and uh, yeah, making it a lot simpler. If you want to be more advanced, go to figaf.com and sign up for our trial of the FIGAF tool. This will make it a lot easier for you to deliver SAP integrations. So thanks for watching and re remember to subscribe to the video and like it. Thank you. As short side note, if something is breaking and it does not work, you can actually just go here. You can select delete this trial account this will delete everything that you have created and you can start out from scratch that can be helpful in some cases thanks so just delete and it'll take a little while